they used to say, you know, it's not all in the shout. But you know when they started saying that? When they quit shouting. When they quit shouting. It's not all in the shout. Well, honey, I tell you what, if you get filled with the Spirit enough uh, and you begin to worship Him, uh, you will shout in your own way. Uh, you may dance, uh, you may shout uh, in your heart, uh, you may be a crier, uh, you may be a screamer, uh, but you will worship Him and you will praise Him uh, however the Lord puts on you. Uh, hallelujah. And I felt like that being from there that they only wanted to shout when they wanted to shout. And my pastor used to tell them, when you get full of the Holy Ghost, somebody's been seeking for the Holy Ghost and you've been saying, mm. you've been saying, is this tongue thing really real? Is this tongue thing really real? And you're praying and it's like you're going up against the wall. Honey, tonight the wall is coming down for you. Right. Hallelujah. Some of you have never been taught that you could be filled with the Holy Ghost. But tonight the walls are coming down. And if you go on over into the sixth chapter, it says, let me get this thing off, it's bothering me. In the sixth chapter, and Joshua had commanded the people, saying, Ye shall not shout, uh, nor make any noise with your voice, uh, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout, then ye shall shout. Uh, and the seven priests, down in 13, says, uh, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horn before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew the trumpets. Uh, and the ark of men went before them, uh, but the rewarder came after the ark of the Lord, the priest going on and blowing the trumpet. That was the first day they went around. The second day they could pass the city once and returned into the camp. So they did this six days. Don't you imagine the way the children of Israel were? That they were getting kind of upset with the Lord. Lord, we walked all the way around those walls every day. You know, they were whiners like some of you. And they went around the walls seven, six days. Well, Lord, I know that I've gone around these walls every day. And they hadn't anything happened yet. Hallelujah. And Joshua says, I can't shout yet. I got to just walk and keep my mouth shut. Well, sometimes uh, it's best that you don't say anything. Sometimes it's best that you don't say anything because you're going to hit that your brother or your sister. Just keep on walking. Hallelujah. We used to sing an old song in the church. You got to keep on walking. Walking in the light of the Lord. If you get to heaven someday, you better get in the right way. Walking in the light of the Lord. And that's what they had to do. Had to make up their mind that they were going to walk in the light of the Lord. They were going to walk and do what God had told them to do. Uh, hallelujah. How many knows that sometimes we open our mouth and we hinder people? Hallelujah. Because uh, that's not what God wanted us to do. He said, don't say a word, just walk. And that's what they did. And they did it six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose up early about the dawning of the day and could pass the city after the same manner seven times. Whew. Now, Lord, we've already been through this six days, six times already, and now you want us to go around seven times today. And I can imagine that they were really getting discouraged that day. They went around the first time, nothing came down. Went around the second time, nothing came down. Went around the third time, nothing came down. Fourth time, still nothing came down. Fifth time, nothing came down. Sixth time, nothing came down. 
Oh, but there's something about the number seven. <laughs> Hallelujah. When they went around the seventh time, and then Joshua said, it's time to shout. They began to shout, and the walls came down. Some of you tonight need to be shouting at your wall to come down. You may bound and chain some of it up. It's time that you loose yourself and let it go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we let the things of the world get us down. And we're getting the molly grubs. And we want to complain. And we want to talk about everybody in the church. But it's time to be quiet until we go around the wall seven times. And when you go around the wall seven times, and you begin to shout, it's all of a rush of Naya. When you begin to shout, the walls are going to come down. Hallelujah. Some of you have been bondage because churches have turned you out. They said you couldn't be saved. You can't Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. There's more churches going up than ever before ministering to anybody that wants to be saved. And we got to have our house set in order. You know why the walls go up? Because they're sin in the camp. Hallelujah. They're sin in the camp. And when they're sin in the camp, we got to get rid of it. Hallelujah. We got to get rid of it. What brings the vision? Sin. Hallelujah. Ooh, should you get quiet in here? Mm. Ooh. Say amen or amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the people shouted when the priest blew with the horns. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. The people shouted with a great shout. And the wall fell flat. Hallelujah. So that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him and took the city. Honey, if we want to take the United States uh, and administer to whosoever, then honey, we're going to have to tear down some walls. Uh, oh. Hallelujah. We're going to have to get the visions and visions and all these other visions out of the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's no room for division. There's no room for whining. Hallelujah. I learned that when I taught that great fast. Hallelujah. I'm so sick of Christians that get up and say they're a child of God and all they do is whine. Oh, they just whine, whine, whine. Hallelujah. I told one of my third graders the other day, I said, You sure do like to whine. I said, One of these days I'm going to bring some oil in and anoint your desk before you have to sit in so that whining spirit will get out of you. But we need to get ourselves off the bottle and get on some meat. Hallelujah. So some of you have been on the milk too long. Some of you have been saved for 30 years and you've not gone one step further into the water. It's time you get over yourself and begin to worship Him. See, when you get to, to movement, if you read over in Ezekiel, it talks about going out to the living waters. Uh, and when you begin to worship Him, uh, He'll take you out till you're, you're just overflown. Uh, you, you'll have to get so deep that you have to swim. Uh, and this old Mississippi boy never learned how to swim. Uh, said, Daddy, I almost drowned my brother throwing him in the creek. Uh, and I thought for sure if Daddy got a hold of me, I would drown. Because I couldn't work my feet and my hands all at the same time. <laughs> Not <in> water. <laughs> but uh, when you get yourself ankle deep, uh, 